welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to fully backup your windows 11 and restore windows 11 without losing any kind of data now imagine losing your precious family photos important document or even your entire operating system due to any kind of hardware failure malware attack or accidental deletion now a fully backup can be lifesaver for you allowing you to restore everything to a previous state without any delay let's quickly get started now in order to take the backup you have two different options either you can take the backup to any external hard disk ssd or pen drive like i have connected this new volume e that is my different hard disk but the second option is if you don't have any other kind of hard disk ssd or pen drive and you want to take the backup in the local partition only then you should have the empty space here and if you don't have any extra partition then you will have to create it like on my end i have only local disk c and i want to take the backup on my local disk only so i will have to create a different partition so for that right click on the windows icon click on disk management right click on c drive here click on shrink volume now it will ask you that how much space you want to shrink that means how much space you want for the new partition so I'm just taking this as an example so I will take it in a round figure like 10,000 that will be around 10 gigabyte and then click on shrink and once it will be done you can see an unallocated space has been created you can make a right click on it choose new simple volume click next click next next and finish so once it will be done you can see that a new partition has been created from your local disk only so now you have two different options either you can take the backup on this drive this partition or to the external partition so let's quickly get started and i will take the backup on the external hard disk so now what you will have to do click on your windows search type control click control panel and here you have to look in the system and security backup and restore in case if you don't find this option then click on view by and make it to category and then you can click on backup and restore then on the left hand side you will find create a system image click on it now it will be looking for the backup devices and you can see that it has automatically detected my external hard disk but if you want to change it like the one partition that we created you can also select that but i will create on this one so i will select it so make sure you select the right disk right partition where you want to take the backup once you are done you have to click on next now it will say which drive do you want to include in the backup so i want to include the c drive so click on the c drive click on next and then you have to click on start backup now depending that how much data you have in your c drive it will take some time it can take about 15 to 20 minutes half an hour or more than that so just wait here until it's all been done and once it will be completed i will let you know what you have to do next okay so finally the backup has been completed and it took around like 10 to 12 minutes on my end as i don't have too much of data but depending on your end if you have too much of data in the c drive it can take longer time okay so once it will be done it will say do you want to create a system repair disk so you will have to click on no because we don't want any kind of bootable disk and you can see it says the backup completed successfully so you can now click on close so now we have successfully created a backup of our windows 11 including everything like settings the wallpaper and everything now let's see that how you have to restore it but before that let me quickly go ahead and delete some of the application make some changes so that i can show how exactly it work okay so first what i will do i will change the wallpaper i will go and choose any different wallpaper like this one then i have this tool installed here mini tool partition wizard so i will go ahead and uninstall it once it's been removed i will close it so you can see the icon also has been disappeared now let me bring up the file explorer 
in the download i have these two file i will also delete it i don't have anything other in the document so that all what we have made the changes like we change the wallpaper we uninstall the application we deleted two items from the downloaded and now let's see that how you have to restore your backup so for that there can be two different conditions if you are able to access your desktop then you can easily do that but in case if you are not able to access your desktop let's say your windows has been crashed then what you will have to do you need to forcefully shut down the computer for the three time so press and hold the power button of your pc or your laptop and as soon as it gets shut down again turn it on and as soon as you see the windows or the manufacturer logo again press and hold the power button to forcefully shut it down repeat this step for two or three time and then you will see the please wait screen with some advanced option but if you are on a desktop then what you will have to do right click on the windows icon click on settings then from the left in menu option click on system and scroll down you will find the recovery option click on it and here you will find the advanced startup click on restart now click restart now again and you will see the same please wait screen when you will forcefully shut down the computer for the three time when you are not able to access your desktop and then you finally get this kind of blue screen with the advanced option so once you come up here you have to click on troubleshoot click advanced option and here you'll find see more recovery option now i have also made a video that how you have to access these advanced option you can also check that video so click see more recovery option then click system image recovery and this will list you the image recovery that you have created along with the date and the time and the location that which drive has it been exactly created as a windows backup now in case if you have created multiple backup then you can see the list you can select the one that you want to backup okay so this is the one that we have created so i will keep this selected and click on next click on next click on finish and then click on yes so now the restoring will be started and again it may take some time so you will have to wait again until it's all been done all right so once the restore will be completed it will ask you to restart so simply click on restart now and this time when the computer will restart it will be coming up with the windows backup that you have created okay so let me quickly sign in all right so you can see now that we have the same windows 11 wallpaper that we changed now we have the same mini tool partition wizard the application that we uninstalled and now if i go to the download so you can see these are the two files that i deleted in from the download that also came back okay so this is how exactly the windows 11 backup work it will be backing up all your application game settings the data and everything so this is recommended for every windows user that you should create a windows 11 backup so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and if you have any kind of doubt any question you can let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye